Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's do is it a fit or is she just an influencer? So I have a few people that I wanted to talk about today and yeah, let's just get right into it. You can let me know your thoughts down below as well. Before I start, don't forget to like and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Okay, so is it a fit or is she an influencer? It's pretty much inspired from Lainey Ozark's videos. Um, and yeah, I thought we could just run through a few people. The people I decided to choose, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I'm a little bit biased because they're all um, people that I really like, that I follow, or whose style I think is cool. There's definitely not going to be as much of like hating on their outfits, but still, we can still look objectively and see if we like or don't like. First, we have Emma Chamberlain, and let's start off with this picture of her on Instagram, where she is wearing kind of like this double layer of like shearling she has this i think it's, it's like vest or sweater that has a very like will or shearling um texture and then laid on top of that is this suede jacket with shearling accents and yeah i think it looks cool on instagram i think it looks cool from like a visual perspective but honestly i don't really love this it's sort of like doing denim on denim on denim but i like double denim to a degree but this is just too much and with the shoes as well which sort of definitely cohesive in that muted tone but still i just don't think that this is like a good outfit and definitely if she was an emma chamberlain i feel like no one would really like this outfit i certainly don't like the outfit so yeah i'm not a fan i pretty much love almost all of emma's outfits i think she has really cool style and it's evolved in a really nice way um so i tried to pick something that i definitely wouldn't like but next picture we have something a little bit more simpler just a basic like blue shirt with um this white sweater over it and, and this bag which is so gorgeous i cannot tell if it's vintage or uh probably gifted from a brand like maybe gucci or something but yeah overall i really love this look i think it's clean classic simple and anyone wearing this i think would look amazing um and i would definitely wear this too so yeah overall i really like emma's style um i think definitely she gets away with certain things sometimes just by being like sometimes being skinny being perceived as a cool girl i feel like you can wear whatever next we have matilda jeff who's one of my absolute favorite people favorite influences and again i love her style i think she has amazing style you could scroll through her instagram and i'd be like I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that. But I tried to find something that is a little bit more unique and we could see if it is a fit. She's wearing this grey blazer, which I'm sure is from her brand, as well as this sort of green, olive green sequin top with um, these really like loose maxi grey skirt. And I love the outfit but i just think that texture texturally texture texture wise i don't love the combination of the sequin i wish that it was maybe more of like a a satin or silk green top i think it would work so much better overall so yeah i am half half on this outfit but I get where she's going with it. Okay, so again, as I said, I'm pretty much obsessed with all of her outfits. So I'm not going to show an outfit that's like super basic and something that we've all seen from her because obviously I'm going to love it. Let's do something different. We have this other picture from her Instagram and it is her wearing this racing biker jacket. Um, 
as well as i think it's the mini lady dior bag and then she has her phone out with i think a wildflower phone case i'm not sure i'm going to assume she's wearing jeans or like black trousers with this outfit probably kitten heels that feels very her vibe but just overall i think if we look at the racing jacket i love the jacket i think it is so cool and is such a statement piece personally i don't think the jacket needs the bag if it was me i would go for a much simpler bag or even just a different bag um because i feel like the jacket is the statement and then the bag it's just a bit too much and then the phone case and then it's just too much um so yeah i would keep it a little bit more simplistic and make the jacket its own thing so again sort of 50 50 on this but love the idea tina kuniki who is this really cool french model and influencer um and i just always really love her style it's always so bold and just very out there so i picked something that is a little bit more kind of subtle and she's just wearing this sort of like cool chic minimal uh outfit and i can't tell if it's a blue shirt under a white shirt or it's one piece but it's this sort of blue and white layered shirt look with a beige coat and these pants and heels and a bag and i just really really love the look i think it's really cool i think it's really obviously has an element of like menswear vibes and she just like rocks the outfit is it a fit like is it something that would look good on anyone probably maybe depending i think it's an outfit that is so important when it comes to tailoring i think that is the key if it wasn't tailored and you were just wearing something really oversized it probably wouldn't look good but if you could find similar pieces and tailor it to your body type i think it would look good on anyone i really really love this next we have this other picture of her wearing this two-piece set and i'm not sure where it's from if it's a vintage or like a different brand but yeah i think it's cool it's definitely giving i'm a model <laughs> vibes like rocking something really cool is it something i would wear probably not but i don't hate it it's just sort of okay i think if it was mismatched um i think i would like it more i think matching it to a t like a two-piece set um is nice but it just looks kind of not that interesting and last we have Orion Carlotto who I am obsessed with I think she's so cool and she's kind of the perfect person to end with because she is the definition of somebody that I would consider an influencer but like in a real sense of the word she is so inspiring and I'm just kind of inspired by like her aura and her sense of like creativity she has a very cool instagram and obviously she's great on youtube and yeah this outfit she's wearing these blue denim overalls um on a white shirt and a big coat and then this random bag i don't know how to feel about this outfit i feel like it works to a certain extent and i think it is definitely a type of outfit that i feel like only works for someone who has like the energy to like pull it off like she is definitely giving cool girl vibes i'm so effortless i just threw these pieces together um i think if it was like a random person and you saw it you would be a bit confused um i think the thing that throws it off is the bag i actually think if she went with like a really simple bag in white or black it would kind of tie the whole thing together 
and it wouldn't look as like messy but i think that is what she's going for with the outfit so yeah i definitely get it but it's like almost there but not quite and then this other outfit from her instagram which is giving real ballet core vibes i think this is like very very trendy very very of the moment because i love ballet core and i'm into like the whole sandy lion girl aesthetic Mew Mew girl aesthetic i love this outfit is it something that i would wear like if i was going to the gym probably not but i think from like a visual aesthetic purpose i think it just works yeah it's so cute i mean it's definitely the kind of outfit that would you'd see on an influencer or a cool girl but it works and i like it so who cares <laughs> so yeah those are my picks for today um, I'm thinking of doing a part two, but with more like celebrities. Let me know if you liked and enjoyed this video. Give this video a like to let me know. And yeah, then I will definitely work on part two. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Check out my other videos, especially my vlogs and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.